Hi teachers, welcome back. I'm here to give you a quick hit of positivity. This is for teachers who feel like jumping off a cliff. Don't do it, don't do it. I know the new year is coming, but you have something to look forward to, the kids and their smiling faces. So here it is. This is for teachers who are at their wit's ends um, in the field of education, um, but kind of love teaching. This is also for teachers who are tired, stressed, and you just need a quick hit of positivity. This is what I'm going to give you today. I'm going to have a part one, two, and three, um, I believe, of this webcast um, because I want to break it down in small chunks. So the first quick hit you're going to get is going to be the first four things. Number one is going to be that I recommend that you buy yourself a good mirror before heading back to that classroom. The second one is going to be to check your bags. Yes, I did say check your bags, and you'll find out exactly what I'm talking about. The third thing is, are you guilty of identity theft? Hmm, we'll talk about that too. And the last thing is, when you go back to the classroom, you better find you a fierce friend in your school or your e-circle, encouragement entourage, okay? And those are the things we're gonna talk about really, really quickly, and then you'll get the rest of the chocolate cake or vanilla cake whichever one you like on my part two and part three later on this week the first thing you need to get is a mirror really pretty mirror put it on your desk yes i said put it on your desk and why is that because the demands that teachers are required to um adhere to on a day-to-day -day basis are enormous you are one person you cannot do everything However, most often the system is set up to where what we do is tied to who we believe we are in the classroom. If Johnny isn't successful, then we don't feel successful. And that is just nonsense, guys. Yes, I've taught for 16 years. That's nonsense. And so you are not the failure or success of another individual. And that's gonna take some mind training to, to work up. But let me tell you, yes, even in the field of education, you are not, your worth is not tied to whether another individual is successful or have failed. So you need to get that good mirror out. And you're gonna to have to look at yourself on a day-to-day -day basis when those, when those evaluations come and they say effective or ineffective, you've gotta put your own label on there, guys. They're not doing it to us. We are doing it to ourselves, okay? We can't live by somebody else's standard. Here's, what's, what the, here's what matters at the end of the day. Did I do my best? Did I teach to the best of my ability? Did I give them everything that I was supposed to give them as a teacher? Not as anything else, because a lot of times we give too much of ourselves, and we're gonna talk, th talk about that later on. So that mirror, anytime we see labels that we're subconsciously given ourselves or unconsciously given ourselves, ineffective or effective, successful or failing. Anytime we start to doubt our talents and our gifts based on someone else's opinion of us as an educator, I want you to have that mirror on your desk and look yourself in the mirror every single day, no matter how good or bad your day was. I want you to inhale and say, I inhale today, I exhale tomorrow. I inhale today, I exhale tomorrow. Because you will be the person who will be responsible for encouraging you, not anyone else. They're not gonna do it, guys. You know I know what I'm talking about. They're not gonna do it, okay? So you've gotta do it. That's the first thing. The second thing is check your bags. You know how we're teachers and we have all of those bags that we carry, this carrier, that carrier, or even the buggy? Check your bags. Because the truth is, we know that there's a systemic problem in education. But guess what, guys? Doesn't have to be our problem. So know whose bags you are claiming at the baggage claim, okay? When you go to the terminal, you make sure you have your bags. So say, for instance, Johnny or Karen, their, their parents are not um, 
are not involved at all. That's not your problem. That's not your bag. That's their bag. Your bag is the bag that says, love, teach to the best of your ability. That's it. That's the bag that you grab. That's the bag you turn your ticket in for at the end of the day. And once you've done your best, that's all you're responsible for, guys. I think we were just doing too much. Do your best. Nothing else is left after you do your best. Okay? And you will, be, you will feel incredible about that. If it's your best, then you, you're going to feel great. Anyone who, who doesn't feel like what you've given is good enough, Guess what? You got it. That's their bag. All right. The third thing, the third thing that I want you to do is ask yourself, am I guilty of identity theft? And this is the briefest one. You don't have to be anyone else, guys. You know how they put those corny boards up and show everybody how well the other person is doing? I think that's nonsense and absurd as well, because guess what? You're good enough, and that's the end of discussion. You're good enough. And so the idea that you're the reason someone else fails or does their best, and that means you're not better than Mrs. Randall's class, that's ridiculous, guys. Let's knock it off this year. You're good enough. So if you've committed identity theft, <laughs> I won't turn you in, but you will turn yourself in to yourself and just say, I'm good enough in that well-invested mirror that I asked you to get on number one. The final thing for this part is I did not get this and I should have known this. I got it at one school, but the other schools I didn't, I wasn't fortunate enough to have this. But here's what you need. You're gonna have to find a fierce friend. You will need a trusted friend as a part of your E Taraj, okay? e Taraj is an encouragement entourage. So you're having a bad day and you need someone to talk to, that fierce friend, the one that's in your e Taraj, your encouragement entourage, that person is gonna let you talk about it, get it all out for about 90 seconds. And they're going to let you get it all out and they're going to replace it with the positive things about yourself. And I wanna say that again. They're going to replace it with positive things about yourself, okay? And the best thing is for them to say something you already naturally have, you already naturally are great at either doing um, or that they've seen. That way it can come from an innate wholeness and it won't be, you're just making this up. They can point to specific things that they see on a daily basis that you just are shining at and that you're great at doing. OK, and so if you don't have that person, I'm going to tell you to do something, a trick that I've learned probably a little bit too late. Find you a file, create a file on your computer called Dumping Ground. Anytime something negative happens or something you need to get off your chest, go to that file and say everything you need to say. I know many of us are familiar with people who do the email and don't send it. I say don't do that because what if you accidentally hit send? So I say create the dump, a dumping ground file, say everything you need to say, get it all out, and you will see how much lighter you will feel. The reason I say that is because sometimes others are having a bad day too, and we don't want to be like a ball of negative energy. All right? So create that dumping file. Or if you have a fierce friend, and the reason I say fierce friend is because this will have to be someone who can take it in and let it roll out and give you what you need to propel and just soar the rest of the year, the rest of the day. Those are my four things. I hope this is helpful. This is part one. I almost forgot. This is part one. I'm going to um, tack on part two and three a little later uh, in this week. Have a happy new year. Look forward to 2018. Um, right now, enjoy where you are presently. Don't even think about the classroom until you look at this YouTube video. Then you can think about the classroom. I'll see you on part two and part three.